Okay, we get the black shroud off. Um, you can see the fuel line there going to the carburetor. And the clamp right there. We're gonna take that clamp off and there's gonna be fuel pissing out of this thing. So we got, <clears throat> um, we got our fuel can and we got a long neck um, uh, hose here to dump it into. Um, here's the black shroud that we took off. Just simple two, two screws there. And uh, this is only another five minutes. You know, I've seen people stick a turkey baster in there to get the fuel out. It's kind of a pain in the ass and it gets a little messy. Um, I've seen people just treat the fuel and leave it in there. I treat the fuel as well, but I just prefer to empty it out. This thing's going to be sitting for probably seven or eight months, so it just makes sense to me to empty the tank and uh, run the run the unit dry here. It's a 2012 Arians. It's, you know, I've done that pretty much every year. Um, and it's always just worked, so yeah, we're gonna loosen that clamp and start draining the fuel into uh, this bucket here. All right, so we got the fuel hose, we got the fuel hose disconnected, and you can see the little nipple where it went into the carburetor right there, the brass looking one. Now, the Arians have a shut off fuel shut off right here, which comes in handy uh, because I can disconnect that hose and no fuel will come out. Um, a little drip from what's left in the hose, but one or two drips, but no fuel will come out until I turn the fuel um, back on, which is which is good. So I'm gonna prepare myself here. Um, I just use this to catch the few drips that were in there. And then I, I'm gonna put this uh, pretty much up to that hose and then I'm gonna turn the fuel on and you'll see it all come out.
All right, fuel's drained out. We're gonna connect this hose back to the carburetor. Okay, let's push down all the way. Get our clamp all the way back down where it should be, right there. Perfect. All right, the fuel is still, I shut the fuel off after because I don't want any fuel in the carburetor here. Uh, but this is good. I'm going to put the shroud back on here. If I can remember how it goes. Shitty ratchet. Craftsman. Alright. So that's on there now. We're going to connect the electrical um, start here. I'm sorry, the turnkey start here. So you got these two. Basically, just going to Slip these two into there. We're gonna connect the fuel hose as well. I don't know if you guys can see this too well, but it's connected fuel hose back to the primer bulb. I'm just gonna connect. I'm not gonna be able to show you this, but basically just connect that into the electric starter. Two slots, they just slide right in. Thank you. 
lost the other screw for this, so we're rolling with one. <clears throat> and we're just going to put the choke button back on. It just simply pushes back on here. Just got to get the orientation right. And that's it. Now we have a drained fuel tank. It's ready to go for the winter. No fuel left in there. A nice little film that'll all evaporate. We got the shut off turned off. There's no fuel going into the carb. Um, carb is all empty. I drained it out beforehand. And that's just a quick way to empty the fuel tank.